Let's meet tonight's guests again, shall we? We have George Joyce. He's with Primetime Computing. As well, theater artist Nicole Lee Quinnell and Jessie Lacayo. She's a marketing manager with the Clay and Glass Gallery in Waterloo. And Michael Fletcher of New World Coaching. The next topic, please. It's been several weeks now since a typhoon tore over Burma, also called Myanmar, killing many, many thousands of people. But that may not be the worst of it. The military junta, made up by some pretty despicable generals, won't allow enough foreign help into the country to stave off the deaths of many, many thousands more victims, a good many of them children. Now, the UN has a protocol for this that would allow it to use force to make the generals accept help. In fact, the protocol was spearheaded by Canada. So far, the world seems hesitant to use it. Do you think we should? You know, it's, it's uh, you know, nothing like having plans specifically to take advantage of a situation like this and then ignore them completely. Right. So what do you think? What, what well, do you, do? I, you know, we've got this plan in place, so why aren't we activating it? Why aren't we going in and airdropping these areas or sending our teams in? We don't have an alternative motive. All we want to do is help as many people as we can. So why are they stopping us? Are they just afraid that we're going to educate their people? First of all, on this whole thing, I, well, first of all, I was shocked to find out that there was a mechanism for this, and secondly, that uh, c Canadians proposed it. We don't care whether you want the help or not. We're going to come in and yeah. do it to you anyway. But who's the we? It's the military junta in power. I'm sure no, no, if it's you the were UN. starving, but no, we. The UN. We as in, I'm sorry, we don't want the help. That's the we I was referring to. But our, but the people on the ground who are dying, who want the air, who want the food, and who need the water and right. need the medical supplies, they're the ones who want us to come in. They want anybody to come in with they're, something. They're not thinking to help about them. us at all. All no. they're thinking they about is themselves something. and the people who are ruling over them. Right. And they're wanting, of course, the food yeah. and the medicines and so on and so I forth. Think but, okay, it, stop, Jesse. It's 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 incredible to me that again, it's a great divide. It's like I can just hear the politicians' mind and you know going okay but with the history of the like you know the, the government there if we go there there we there's a bad history there it's going to start another war that's, that's almost like the priority and the thinking as opposed to say okay well we need to help them let's figure it mm -hmm. out who's now, thinking are you talking about the thinking of the government, what right? Go or, what government? I'm thinking global, or ours? the global, and I'm thinking the United States. I'm thinking like the greater powers. Yeah, but you know, the there's thing all these discussions happening, right? Okay, saying, but okay. the thing is, is if we can send in our foreign aid workers, not our military or anything else, and we can actually help the people who need it, because it's not instead just of giving it, saying, right? here's to the general, and the general yeah. will say, I want a pocket half, <laughs> and I'll give a bet up. But, but you might have to, you might have help. to do that at the point of a gun. Right. To, exactly. To it's, the, it's because the moment you enter a, a different zone, a different country, you are going you into the no threat. have right to do that. But hey, mm. if I was in that country and my government was preventing me from getting aid, I'd want someone to come in sure. and save my and butt. Exactly. But again, this are, you know, individuals that don't have a voice or we're not hearing their voice. Again, you know, okay. they're not making Unfortunately, we have to stop and move on to the next issue.